politicians and people around the political class, if you will, you know, are very, very eager to get their points across, and they definitely like to talk to the press. And we've seen the schedule of the prime minister's meetings with all the different journalists, editors, proprietors, etc. There's a lot there. But from the standpoint as a business person, I, I don't think I've personally experienced that because actually I haven't, I haven't actually spent that much time with politicians personally. Um, and certainly most of my interaction with these politicians has been around British Sky Broadcasting where the sort of politics of news and things like that don't really, don't really fit in. And the vast majority of my career has been as a, you know, as making television here. Oh, I understand that. But uh, do you think it might have been an advantage when you've been discussing uh, B Sky B and making television and the contribution that B Sky B has made uh, that actually News International have other interests which have been capable of at least potentially making a difference? I don't think there's any evidence of an advantage with respect to the way we've operated our business and the way that the business has been regulated uh, and governed in, in the country. I just don't think, I, I really just don't think that's there. I think it's a question perhaps for the politicians about how they saw it, but certainly for me, I would really, I'd, you know, I just wouldn't link the two. I just would never do that. I think the press and the newspapers have to make the decisions on behalf of their readers and in the context of the country and what they think is right. And you know, I need to be able to win the argument, if you will, for British Sky Broadcasting or others, or I did at the time, on the merits of the business and of the legal case, if it's a merger or other things like that. And that's all I would ever seek to do. In your discussions with politicians before the general election, in particular the last, time, last one, was it not obvious to you that they were very interested in whether you would be supporting their party in due course? I don't think I was ever asked directly about that. That wasn't the, that wasn't the question. The question is whether it was obvious to you that they would be very interested in knowing whether your newspapers would support uh, their party in due course. I th yeah, I think all politicians would be interested to know that and would seek the support of newspapers and the media. That's, you know, very much part of their, the way they see their job as communicators. And to, to use Justice Levison's phrase, to, you know, to, 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 to be able to take, avail themselves of that megaphone, if you will, um, for their own policies and purposes. I think that's, that's reasonably evident. In terms of there's an ever-changing balance of power here, but in a run-up to an election, it must occur to you as a sophisticated individual that the balance of power is more with you than with them because they are so interested in knowing whether your newspapers are going to support them. Would you agree I, with that? I, I, I hope that's not the case um, because, you know, I hope that they don't think that's the case. Because we live in an environment of just such extraordinary choice in media sources. We look at, you know, we look at customers multi-sourcing variety of news from all over the place. I just don't think that there's that kind of the very old-fashioned sort of view, if you will, of kind of big media proprietors and, you know, being able to dominate the landscape when I don't think that exists anymore. I think, that, I, think, I think in Westminster, sometimes it might feel that people still believe that. Well, that's But right. I just think it's not the case. Well, Mr. Murdoch, I'm not actually concerned with reality, because one could never prove. <laughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Well, one I'm, could never... I'm not too sure that you mean that. <laughs> well, no, I don't. <laughs> or at least you may not be, but I certainly am. Okay. One could never, let me put it in these, in these terms, one could never prove that because a newspaper, even one as important as The Sun, supports a political party, that has a causative effect on the outcome of an election. But in terms of perception, I think you've just confirmed, confirmed this through your last answer, that politicians believe that, don't they? Whether or not they believe it, I think it doesn't change the fact, as I think Lord Justice Levison was suggesting, that you know, they seek... Um, and that I would suggest, I've never had, I don't think I've ever had a conversation with, conversation with a politician where he or she didn't try to convince me of the rectitude of their views. Um, and, you know, and is that, and is that, is that, I think that's true of pretty much anyone they talk to, but I would say probably particularly people with any, you know, direct or even indirect relationship with the press. Yeah.